Both these teams coming off a five match streak to finish out their regular season. And of course, Team Liquid now making it six in a row after downing Immortals with an incredible, I just can't speak enough about that incredible performance by Buffmac. You know, I think I might have called Sam and Soaking the dynamic duo. Clearly, it's Morton and Sam who have been in 2v2. Soaking and Surge played a little bit together earlier on, but this has been the duo that has carried this squad in this opening set. Yeah, once they found their rhythm with this 2v2 duo, it's kind of the same thing as with Surgical Goblin and Canario. It took them a minute to figure out who the best duo was, but since then, they have been Picture perfect, they've lost maybe one set each since they started doing that. Surge and Canario work so well together, so that's kind of an X factor here. And a very, very nice snowball trying to make room for that Prince picked up by the Log and Skeletons. Baby Dragon's duking it out at the river. Magic Archer for SK Gaming. And we have seen the Magic Archer pull off some clutch wins over the last couple weeks. First minute, 15 down. Dark Prince cycled in the back for SK Gaming. Liquid currently has drawn first blood. SK has yet to found the tower. Lightning down as soon as that Dark Prince's shield comes off. Perfect timing from Team Liquid. Minute 20 left in regulation. Bats high one more time. Second time they've done that. Yeah, you saw the Baby Dragon there ready to pick it up. And a big time connection from that Ram Rider. They will get a King Tower activation, but at what cost? A second Ram Rider is in immediately, Prince behind. And that is another connection. Wow. Yeah. Bats in, Prince in. That's Tower down, Rich. Wow. SK Gaming coming out swinging wow. in the opening set. That was huge. Surgical and Canario just looked unstoppable against Immortals. And now SK drawing blood early. And again, Team Liquid going with the high bats, going for that cheap minor bats counter push potentially. They have not made it work yet, but now minor to the back. Ram Rider in. Inferno Tower comes down. Yeah, Lumberjack tanking for the Inferno. That Ram Rider still not raged up because the Lumberjack lived a little bit longer than Team Liquid would have liked. However, Tower does go just above 1,000 HP. Minor. Not often you want your troops to die, Rich, but right then Liquid <laughs> needed their Lumberjack to go down. Musketeer not going to get on tower, courtesy of that ice golem. Liquid still continuing to load up on the left-hand lane. They know this is their only opportunity to get game number one. Yeah, when you're that close, you see Surge leaning over, giving his teammate a little bit of love, knowing, hey, it's just one game. We got five sets or four sets ahead of us. But SK came out hot. And you can see Sam and Morton putting on their super excited faces. <laughs> they know exactly what they just did. And that there is a, a keen expression of emotion from these two. And you see them right now figuring out what to do in this next game. Team Liquid, Surgical, and Canario have to get back to the drawing board. <laughs> We're, both We're so, excited. so excited. Yeah, I was just going to say, you saw Team Liquid there having a really hard time orchestrating a push. Once SK drew blood, they were kind of desperation plays at the bridge. But unfortunately, at this level, you cannot break through. You have to build these massive pushes and break through carefully. Both these teams, Andrew, are so unpredictable in 2v2. Team Liquid has done a lot of combinations that no one else is really playing. And SK Gaming is one of the few teams to run Royal Hogs in 2v2, not to mention double giant double prints. Yeah, that's very, very true. And you know how much Morton and Sam love those piggies. So not really a surprise to see them running Royal Hogs, but a nice change of pace. Mega Minion will keep the Magic Archer from getting onto tower, keeping it on the outside. Dark Prince and Ram Rider down to defend, and now this might be a big moment. Lightning comes in very well timed from Team Liquid. And notice how Liquid placed their troops on either side of that river, or just offset a tile or two, making sure, as you said, the Magic Archer did not get on tower. Very nicely played. Baby Dragon Ram Riders getting pretty aggressive on the left-hand side, knowing that Inferno Tower is low and out of cycle. Yeah, Inferno Tower and Lightning is an 11 Elixir commitment, so SK might be thinking they can break through here, but Team Liquid apparently has another plan. Oh, oh. and a raged up Ram Rider connects again. Baby Dragon down, going the opposite direction. Cannot change that 2006 on the left-hand tower. And I really liked how Surge turned to Canario after that first game and 
honestly celebrated more than Morton and Sam did. That's what you have to do. An early fall, an early game down does not mean anything at this point. And as soon as Liquid builds that Lava Hound push, it's their opponents going into the opposite lane. Dark Prince does get one swing. Liquid needs a Lightning, and they need it now. Look at how far back SK placed that Musketeer way out of Lightning range for that moment. Yeah, Lightning range, Poison range, all the spell range. Lumberjack in front of the Musketeer. Ram Rider down behind. Perfect timing on that log. And now a big push with Lava in front wow. of it. Wow. Liquid loading up in the left-hand lane. And you can hear all the other players who have been eliminated behind us going crazy over this big time push, Rich. Poison getting a lot of value for Liquid. Magic Archer inside, Baby Dragon inside, Tower in there as well. And this push just seems to never stop, but somehow SK walks away with just under 1,000 HP. So here we are, final 10 seconds of regulation, heading into double elixir time. Liquid currently in the lead. You can see SK Gaming starting to build in the right-hand lane as they know Lava's coming down the left. Yeah, they just have not been able to break through. Sequence very, very strong here in the right-hand side. Lumberjack in front on that tower. Ram Rider down, raged up. Now Ram Rider going to the right-hand side. Should get picked up, lightning in on the left. This is huge for Liquid. Yeah, Team Liquid looking like they're gonna take this game. SK was not able to put that push together the way that they wanted to. You saw that the second Ram Rider raged and charged and hit the Inferno that had a sliver of HP left. That push died in its tracks, and Team Liquid's Canario and Surge come out on top. What a great way to start our final, to start our championship. One and one, going to a game number three. You saw Surgical and Canaro doing a great job with their spells and Infernos and Lightning, just rotating things around, making sure that that Ram Rider had the most difficult time breaking through. I think it only hit a tower maybe twice. Best of five sets. First one decided right now. One more for the opening set. It's been back and forth between these two teams. Unpredictability, skill, teamwork, all comes down to this final game. SK struggling in game number two. Team Liquid's Canario and Surge seems like they finally hit their rhythm against this dynamic duo, as you called them earlier, Rich. And Ice Spirit for Ice Spirit to open up, and here we go, Baby Dragon's behind. An early lightning from SK. An early lightning, but a good value lightning. Getting that lumber, I'm uh, getting that musketeer, getting that baby dragon, getting the tower. Lumberjack picked up by Lumberjack. Giant skeleton does get out in front. And you see that giant skeleton just halting the entire push now. Liquid opting to switch lanes. And Royal Giant gets just behind the Giant Skeleton. So that's one big cannon carrying dude shredded by an Inferno Tower of Pain. Yeah, that Inferno Tower was very, very well played. Took out the Giant Skeleton, Royal Giant, and the Mega Min in the opposite lane. Nice heads up defense from Team Liquid. I know that it's Liquid and SK playing. I meant pain in terms of it physically hurts. Yes. In case anyone out there was like, guys, it's not, pain's not playing. Oh, poor pain. Musketeer survives long enough to take out that Ice Wiz. Minute and a half down in game number three. And so far, Liquid out to a small lead. You see those skeletons having to come down for Team Liquid because the Dark Prince has played just one tile low. He did not want the splash damage to come in on the Ice Wizard. And a high Inferno Tower back from Team Liquid picks up the Baby Dragon. This Inferno Tower might do a lot of work. Yeah, double raged up Inferno Towers, but SK's is out of range of anything worth attacking. Team Liquid's, again, great Inferno Tower placement, getting value out of your Inferno Tower. Yeah, it's rare that you look at a, a Inferno Tower that high and go, this was brilliant placement, but that Inferno Tower did multiple time duty, definitely getting its five elixir value and then some. Yeah. Royal Giant, backed up by the Dark Prince on the right-hand side. NATO played a little low. Lightning comes in, but does not make enough room for the Royal Giant. That Lumberjack up front should rage up that oh, very well played Inferno Tower offset to the right. 
And a nice NATO to pull all that back to the giant skeleton bomb. We are heading to double elixir time. Team Liquid still in the lead. Yeah, you know, in that first game, it looked like Team Liquid did not know what hit them. But right now, in this third game and in the second game, just really putting it to SK, having them play on their heels the entire game. Here we go. Sudden death overtime. Liquid cycling some small cards in the back and a big lightning once more. Yeah, nice value out of that lightning, but they have a lot to deal with here. You know, the Inferno Towers has to come down. There it is. However, the Royal Giant playing from the other side of the river. This could be trouble. Two Royal Giants making their way to the tower. Doing everything they can is SK, but that will be at least two shots, maybe a third one. Wow, wow. right back in it is SK Gaming. Yeah, very, very well played. And you see that Inferno Tower kind of working for SK more so than Liquid. Fourteen oh nine to twelve eighty seven. Ram Rider, and there we go. King Tower activation and a lightning oh. in response. Ram Rider trying to get to the tower, and you see the ice wizard being played right in front of the Ram Rider to try to keep it, slow it from getting through. But seven hundred HP remains. Team Liquid has twice that on theirs. The lightning work from Liquid so far has been excellent. Another big one in response. That Rage Up Royal Giant will get on tower. Yeah, two shots in. 594 to 616. Miner to the back, nothing on the Miner. Dark Prince does not know which way to go. Finally, that Miner falls. Ram Rider pulled back. That Ram Rider could not connect. And now 594 on the tower. Lightning comes in, and Canard.